Hi everyone and welcome to our presentation. We are five from the Economic Class at Tuan University. The topic we introduce you about today is familiar to everyone. It's Vietnamese rice market in recent years. First of all, I want to introduce you our team. Trần Hải Phúc, that's my name. Kevin Wu, Trần Trang Thị Phong, Đinh Lê Minh Quân, and Trần Nam Quang. And uh, our lecture is Dr. Trần Duy Thanh. About our contents, we introduce, we introduce you about the rice market, rice consumption, rice supplies, and finally is the recommendations. Firstly, Phong will introduce you about the rice market. My name is Phong and I will uh, introduce about uh, rice markets. First is the global. The rice markets in the COVID-19 situation. The data about rice stock shows that the market fundamental are robust. Or we can say that there is no reason to expect the supply problems. In China, both the main producing and import storage rice have reached just below the annual consumption. In India, the first world exporter of rice stock are sufficient for several months. Hence, the shortage of rice is unlikely in the short run. The exporter restriction or an increase in the international price would have devastating effects on the Africa because Africa, which is relied heavily on imported food other East Asian markets have also drawn to buy rice. North Korean bought in a small volume in 2018 and still maintain to continue this trend. Uh, we move to the second is the rice market after the COVID-19 situation. The lockdown during the COVID-19 had not, not had much impact on the rice industry. The global rice market is protected to expand at a compound annual growth rate of 2.2% from 2022 to 2028. The growing demand for specially ripe variety has increased the trade for long grain rice. The increasing demand for high quality rice from European and growth countries is further accelerating the growth of the market. Uh, the second part is the local, which is the rice market during the COVID-19 situation and in Vietnam. Since 2019, Vietnam had actively uh, diversified its export market in order to reduce its reliance on the Chinese market. In terms of price, despite the winter spring rice harvest, Vietnam's export rice price in the February 2020 increased nearly by 10 percent compared to trend January 2020 and is currently at the highest level in more than a year. Um, the rice market after the COVID situation in Vietnam, Vietnam as a country rich in rice, tropical crops, aquaculture and a major exporter of agricultural products in Southeast Asia. Export price will continue to remain high and may even increase due to the impact of the conflict with Russia and the war between Russia and Ukraine uh, because Ukraine does not export wheat leading to high price uh, of grain and food. This is the opportunity for Vietnamese to uh, export uh, the rice to the world. The rice exporters need to observe the market fluctuation in Philippines, China, um, Indonesia, India, etc., to have an appropriate strategy. Uh, so, next, I will talk about the rice consumption in uh, Vietnam. And first, is the market style and consumption characteristics. Vietnam has got the copious domestic rice consumption markets with more than 96 million people. Rice is one of the most consumer food in Vietnam in particular, as in Eastern countries in general. Besides being cooked, rice can be used for processing, 
written and stories. The Vietnamese dramatist Ryan Marcus is rather complex. He poets various kinds of different quality right. Uh, uh, we can see it's a track of the Vietnam domestic consumption rights. Uh, from the track, we can see uh, Vietnam right domestic consumption by year is relatively high, but has been slowing down over the past few years. Uh, that is the consumption power. Compared to other countries in Southeast Asia, such as Thailand, Vietnam has got higher right year, but is more less. Vietnam to deal an average of 26 to 28 million ton of rice per year. But after being used for domestic consumption, the volume of rice for export is only about 6 to 6.5 million ton per year. The Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development of Vietnamese government estimate domestic demand for rice is uh, 95.96 million ton for food. Uh, Vietnam, Vietnamese people consume about about um, 14.26 million ton. Uh, Vietnam has uh, 96 million people. Its people consume about 96.6 kilograms of rice per year. That's uh, equivalent to 9.27 million ton of rice. Uh, the consumer classification uh, first is beyond the population level and consumption capacity. Uh, first is rural area. Rural people make up a large share in of the population. Uh, it makes up uh, sixty five point six percent in uh, twenty nineteen. Rural people are the main source of labor for rice production. The Mekong River Delta and the Red River Delta are main rice production area of Vietnam. As a result, they consume large quantity of rice, but not only for food, but also for livestock and production. Urban area: the urban population now account for 34.4% 34 of the country population and still growing. Because urban um, urban residents have a larger income, there are more health concerns and frequently is high quality rice. Because of the availability of many other food stores, the average per capita rice consumption per moon in urban area is lower than that in rural area. Uh, that is beyond A. Uh, what is children? Children make up twenty-five percent of the country population, and are there for the other for potential to get. Others, the others account for sixty-six percent of the population with a significant proportion. This is the class who earn money and spend money. Therefore, they are the target of Purchase decision and are frequently concerned with rice quality and bread. Early people only make up uh, uh, nine percent of the population, which is a modest number. that use small amount of food depending on their health situation. Uh, about the distribution channel. The different distribution channels are used to deliver rice to the customer. It is so rice is sold directly from the farmer by the seller to the agency of the end user. It then agent distribute rice to our marketplace, merchant, independent grocer, and supermarket across the nation. Vietnamese people often buy their rice from farmer in rural regions and from open markets, retail store, private market, or vend vendor in urban area, seeing the rice brought right to the customer door. Uh, the ten of rice are stored in a tiny place of grocery store, 
and retail store in order to be sold within one or two months. Only small amount of price is offered for sale at supermarket, sales service, location, and building showroom. However, supermarket has recently started selling more right. Uh, next, uh, is a determinant of rally man which factor it affect the rally man and in and price. Uh, the first is per capita income, like other commodities. The demand of price depends on income structure population trend. Uh, when the income is high, the demand for high quality rice tends to increase, while the demand for low quality rice decreases. Therefore, the proportion of price consumption in social income is still increasing. The next is price. Price is a measure of the supply demand balance in the market economy. Although the market price of price is less volatile, but for specific rice products such as Jacqueline rice, ST25, ST22, uh, 24, right, still play a big role in deciding. Uh, the last is the crisis. Uh, reality has shown that when the world enters a crisis, such as financial crisis of uh, 27 and 28, uh, or the turbulent caused by COVID-19, the government as well as the people tend to increase food stories that is really right demand and pride. So that's the end of my part. Uh, next, my friend, Kung, we will uh, about rice supply. Hi, next I will present about the rice supply of Vietnam in recent years. First, let's take a look at the view of rice supply situation of Vietnam from 2019 to 2022. First, in 2019, Vietnam had highest productivity in planting summer food rice with 54.8 quintal per hectare. The cultivated area of Vietnam decreased uh, around 7.47 million hectares. The rice situation is not in an alarming state yet when rice production is only down 3.6 thousand tons compared to the previous year in October 2018. Next, in 2020, the situation of cultivated area has not or not has not ameliorated yet when it dropped from 7.47 to 7.22 million hectares. The rice supply situation in Vietnam has affected by any factors such as COVID-19, natural disaster like storm or soil water intrusion and crop diseases. But with reasonable seasonal adjustment, the use of high quality rice varieties and crop that are less susceptible to diseases and good disease control, the output is not for domestic and export. From 37.8 in 2019 to 40.5 thousand tons in October 2020. Next, in 2021, at this time, the government gave the policies of directive 15 and 16 because of the significant impact of COVID-19 and this this policy affects a lot to the production and supply of rice uh, when uh, it has only 33.5 million tons of rice down to 7 million tons compared to the October 2020. This situation caused also the rice fluctuations. Uh, from December 2020 to the May 2021, the rice price increased because at this time the supply decreased due to the scarce resources. Trader offer high price. Uh, by the way, then we don't have, uh, we don't have, we have no change in demand. So price increase is obviously and from the May 2021 to December 2021 uh, we have new harvests 
rise the epidemic situation has improved all right stop from the COVID-19 because uh, the fear of food started due to COVID-19 caused people to buy and hold so the demand will decrease and no chain supply so the right price price definitely decrease next uh, here is some graph some uh, trend to uh, display the, the the change in price from uh, december 2020 to uh, uh, december 2021 next uh, here i have also an overview of the harvested area in cultivated area from 2019 to 2022 and um, we can see that the harvest area in recent years accounts for a small amount compared to the cultivated area and next the rice output is not is not better is uh, decreased uh, through from 2020 to 2022 and uh, next i will uh determine some uh, the determinants of supply first i want to say about the number of sellers when we have many countries produce rice so we will have a huge of supply so this will shift the supply curve to the right and the second factor is technology with high technology we will have the modern rice production lines the equipment and machinery so rice will be produced in good quality and high productivity so this will shift the supply curve to the right in the last we uh, uh let's say the price of rice when price increases so we have a movement to the right along the supply curve so supply increase if definitely and the last part of my part is I want to say about a little bit about the India policy about rice export, export. When the demand of rice remain unchangeable and the supply decrease due to this policy, the rice price or at a high level. But uh, we have two sides. We have advantages and disadvantages. I will talk about the advantages. Uh, Vietnam will be able to export in large quantities so that due to the shortage of price from India policy with high price and profit. But and, uh, and the total value of price export will increase, but in the long run, how the businesses could provide enough food for domestic and export when countries which import price from India will import price from another country like Vietnam so the domestic supply decrease and the demand remain unchangeable the price will increase and this situation is not good for the for the domestic consumers in the import side we will have the situation that lack of lack of imported price at low price for animal feed production uh, Vietnam is usually import rice for animal feed production with low price from India. So pending on exporting will make the supply decrease. And uh, we know that Vietnam imported around 40, 400,000 tons in 2021. And this policy could push up the price. So uh, this is not a good uh, policy for uh, Vietnam. Uh, so that's my part. Okay, thank you, Kwan. So now I will talk about the recommendation for expanding marketing. In the case of the government, there are two ways to expand the market. One is one is encouraging active participation in the export market. For example, the government needs to review the trade process and make them more intuitive or reorganize the regulation or build a friendly and trustful relationship with countries that often imports. Another one is rice development improvement. 
It is necessary to research to target various consumer groups by making several varieties and developing rice with priority and specialty flavor. And the government to find a way to keep the consistent and high quality of rice. Besides, the expansions of the market can be achieved not only through governments, but also firms. First, first companies need to learn exports and know-how. For example, they can find an efficient, efficient distribution, distribution method by fam familiarizing themselves with the international agreements and monitoring the market to understand the trends quickly. Also, it needs to improve rice quality at the company level. Typically, increase the inspection supervision of the plant protection drugs and control the problem of plant quarantine. To conclude this presentation, rice is one of the most consumed foods in Vietnam in particular and in Eastern countries in general. So there are various channels through which consumers can supply and distribute rice. In the past, the government implemented various attempts and policies to prevent overproduction. Recently, the government prevents a purge in rice uh, rice price by exporting the secured production to overseas market in order to contain it. Thank you everyone, and this end of our presentation. The rice market, the rice market in Vietnam is uh, the microeconomics that. Uh, um, the government has concerns about in recent years. And I hope uh, the rice exporting of our country will increase significantly in future. And here is our reference. And uh, thank you for listening. <laughs>